Hello everyone and welcome to Wasteland 3. Wasteland 3 was released only four or so days ago. Uh, unfortunately, I've not had a chance to play it yet, so I'm super looking forward to it. I've seen there's a little bit of a divide in terms of its reception, but most people's dis dissatisfaction has come from the bugs when playing co-op. I will not be playing multiplayer at all. This will be a single player run through and I have not played the original or the second game. So I am a complete newbie to the Wasteland universe. However, it's post-apocalyptic and I'm a big fan of Fallout, so I'm sure I'll love it. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, select difficulty. Uh, I think I'm going to go for normal for this. As I'm not actually sure how, how difficult these kind of games are these days. And as always, I will not talk through any cutscenes, if there are any. But hopefully there are, as it's 2020. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. No way we're getting through that. 10-4, Cody. Advance team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. A route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. Absolutely brutal intro. They uh they fell for the the pretty textbook ambush trap of um 
getting funneled into a, an open area like that. Like a killing zone. Alright, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Young Rangers. So it seems like I get to choose a pair. We've got uh, Yuri and Spence. Combat Medic and Trooper. Punk Lovers. Bronco the Enforcer. Kickboy the Mechanic. William the Commander, Lee Sing Sniper, Father and Daughter, Mentor and Student, Dusty the Survivalist, Marie the Modder, Chris the Trader, <laughs> and Chris the Inventor with a cake. Right, let me think. Let's go with, yeah, let's go with Yuri and Spence, a trooper and a medic, that seems probably a good, uh, a good pair to start with. Oh, and you can create custom characters as well, that's kind of cool. Hey, an RPG game where you actually get to roleplay, why is that such a rarity these days? Been a, it's been a long time since I've played a game like this, and it always reminds me of Warhammer, in a good way. Alright, so I'm controlling Yuri. I flick an enemy with your weapon, oh, within your weapon's range to attack them. Enemies within your attack range will show your hit chance above their head. Okay. I guess I can shoot from there. Now run out of AP. Uh, let's see. Let's move. Oh, okay. I have to end turn. Oh god. They brought in the mechanic Spooder. I feel a little bit outgunned and outmanned. Come on, you piece of. There's the problem. Hang in there, November. Almost got it. Combat movement. During combat, your rangers may need to take cover or change attack positions. Blue spaces are areas a ranger can move to with enough action points left for an attack. Orange spaces are areas within their maximum movement range. The red target preview lines show if their new positions place them within targeting range. Right. So blue means I can still attack. Orange probably means I run out of AP. And red means that I'm going to get shot out in the open. Right, okay. So I don't want to go there. I feel like I need to be... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot this, uh, this big dude. And I can't really... I can't, like, retreat or anything. Oh, 
almost in melee range. Ha, November, you have targeting control. Vehicle turret online. Right, left click on the vehicle, or you just have to select it, then attack the Norsey Warbot to take it out. Ah, cool. Tab's useful. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So do I get to control him? Oh, I do. Whoops. Didn't realize. Live through this. We gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. We'll each find our own way up there and catch him front and back. Got it? Good. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here, there's no going back. Okay, this is a high risk, high reward strat. Blanking with three soldiers. All right, move out. Oh. <laughs> Look at them doodle bugs run. Come on, cousins. Don't let them scatter. Keep them together while I reload the rocket gun. Oh, man, I love this thing. <laughs> right, so basically that tutorial or tooltip was, uh, you can individually move or, or move everyone. So, uh, I guess we're going this way. Oh, I can zoom out a bit. Nice. So obviously, this is located in Arizona. Is anyone from Arizona watching now? How would you feel if, uh, if Arizona was this cold? Did you say that's an improvement or not? Not, not too keen. Sliced open this ranger's abdomen and removed his intestines. Judging by the expression that is frozen on his dead face, he was alive when it happened. That is brutal. I know. Maybe you blew her up already. Fuck! Your friends are here. Okay, Hotlanders. Drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? Cash requirement not met. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling. I'm feeling like a hard ass. Okay, okay. Fuck you. I'm gone. I'm telling my cousins we're here. <laughs> oh. Thanks. Saved my life. You probably should have killed that gal, though. Gonna warn her friends. And I appreciate it. Just watch yourself. They're right outside. Thanks. You guys are lifesavers. Uh 
Let's get you moving. Gotta catch my wind first. Let me stay here and guard your rear while you take care of the ones around the corner. Be careful. Let's see what we got here. Like the Dorseys haven't been camped here long. They must have known you were coming. Oh. This campsite is rife with loot. Left click on the containers to loot them. Uh, ah. Colorado dollars. An old handkerchief. Fantastic. I mean, is it rife with loot? Uh, good luck. Rad cut screw farm. Med hyper. Ooh. Full five ammo and shotgun shells. Alright, I'll take that. Off the rest of them. Oh. Oh, stop, cousins. Don't let them get the drop on us. I see it, shit stinks. Oh, no, not enough AP. Uh oh. Oh god, I've messed up here. You can't shoot me now. I didn't realize my move had already started. Right? Okay, yeah, take cover. Hyper. Ah, there we go. But I can't use it because I don't have enough AP. So I guess I'd probably want to just defend. Unfortunately. Now you... Try and get you. I was hoping I could just like quickly... Bash him in the face. Get it all. <laughs> Sweet, that's a lot of health back actually. That's close, damn. How do I see how much AP? Oh, I've got two AP. Risk it. Got him.
Oh, come here. Fire down here. One AP, which I can't really do anything with, so I'll defend up. Then heal up with this guy. to recover a bad stop. I took an outflow pipe through to the far side of the dam. Now it looks like I can get up behind those yahoos on the top and take them unawares. Let me know when you're in position and we'll... <gasps> Shit! Incoming fire! Taking cover! Oh. Oh god. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I mean, I clicked on it, but I tried to cancel it. And I just got the achievement. Oops, you accidentally downed one of your own squad members. Wow, how embarrassing. And the achievement no show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. I wonder how many people have actually failed this early. So I kind of clicked on it because my initial thought was with us that it was a lootable box, right? <laughs> and I sort of clicked as it said oil. I was like, oh no. I wonder if I have to do that again. Do I actually have to do that bit again? Oh no. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. So this will go. Not enough AP. How much AP? I have. Z I have no AP. Why doesn't he have any AP? I can do this. Wait, what? That actually hit me. Was I in range of that? Killing. Not enough AP. Damn. Right, I guess we'll um we'll bend up. Cool. 
do prepare, carry over that one AP that I got. Take this guy out. Then, can I shoot from there? Ah, oh, just out of range. Okay, well, <laughs> that went a lot more smooth, and there isn't an ore barrel that I can shoot this time. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's just take his key. Oh, lots of ammo. Tax evasion for morons. Reservoir campgrounds. It's a, it's a question mark, but is that just to denote that it's a place? Rather than there being something that I have to... Um, Click on. Alright, more med stuff. Good. Oh, wow. Oh, another gut puppet to my name. You hear it, this Erastus? Oh, you ought to be here. The deluge of blood has begun, and I'm winning, big brother. <laughs> Alright, so that's. Enemy detection. Wait. I don't understand. How do you... How do you see its detection? I've made a mistake. I need to go over here. Ah, uh, what I should have done is it looks like I should have destroyed this computer that's connected up to uh, that. So, yeah, I think I messed up there. I wonder if it's actually possible to get out or not. Or am I just kind of screwed now? I think we have the answer. I am I am quite surprised how often I'm dying already. That's fine though. I'm uh, I'm actually really enjoying it, and it's obviously all my fault. I need to need to get into the zone a bit more and understand that this wasteland wants to kill me.
Computer display reads Aegis Automated Defense Network. Enter command. Uh, disable defenses. So is it disabled? Or what? Control certain objects. Ah, oh, perhaps that's not where I'm supposed to go anyway. Some objects in the world are hidden. Each character in your squad has a perception stat that indicates how well they're able to spot hidden objects like alarms, traps, or secrets. Oh, it's kind of like uh, D&D. Sweet. Rotator. Bike smoke grenade. Choose a range by setting their portrait. Then left click and drag the item from. Okay. And we have two. We can have two. So this, this generator does. Rangers. Oh, sweet. Prasad here. Took care of the hostiles who jumped me. But those bastards are still up there on the dam. I found a spot to hunker down and give you some cover when you get there. But I'm afraid. This this will be mostly on you. Good luck and hurry. Okay. Right, albeit there was um, a couple of silly deaths, but so far my first impressions are that I'm really, really enjoying this type of game. It's been a long time since I played anything like this at all. Um and it's nice, it's a nice breath of fresh air for what is actually an old style of game with a 2020 twist onto it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it there for now for this for this part. Um if you've enjoyed this video, albeit my my silly deaths, uh please please give a like and let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. And uh hopefully I'll see you next time. So take it easy, thanks again, peace.